What's going on Japan? Today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite things. No, it's not taiyaki. We're going to be talking about peanut butter. So for those of you who are new to this channel, my name is Cruz. I've been living in Japan for over three years now and I like to make videos here on YouTube on the Two Wheel Cruise channel about cycling and life in Japan here. We do lots of cycling vlogs but we also do some videos about things that I think are useful for people who are living in Japan. So if you're interested in either of those things, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can follow along with more of our videos and adventures around Japan. Like I mentioned earlier, today we're going to be talking about peanut butter. You may be able to guess by my accent and for my love of peanut butter. I'm an American and I love peanut butter. I love peanut butter. And I love cycling. Peanut butter is a perfect food for cycling. Nice and cheap, just make a peanut butter sandwich, peanut butter banana sandwich. I get asked a lot on this channel, what do you eat? What do you recommend on long rides? And my biggest recommendation, just from a financial standpoint, from keeping your costs low and from getting energy per dollar, so calories per dollar, I think peanut butter is one of the best solutions out there. It has protein and a bunch of energy to keep you going on long rides. So for those of you who don't live in Japan, peanut butter is really hard to come by in Japan. When I say this, I mean real peanut butter. If you go into any supermarket here in Japan, there's something labeled as peanut butter, but it's not actually peanut butter. It's peanut cream, which is actually different than peanut butter. A lot of people don't know this. Even a lot of Japanese people that I talk to don't really understand the difference between peanut cream and peanut butter. So peanut cream is this artificial cream where there's no real peanuts in any of the ingredients. It's just some sort of chemical mixture with the flavor of peanuts added. And peanut butter, of course, is something that's made from crushing peanuts. And pure peanut butter is just crushed peanuts. There's no other ingredients. There is one brand of peanut butter that is available in some grocery stores. It's becoming more and more common now. And that is Skippy. Skippy. I'm not the biggest fan of Skippy. I don't mind the taste. I think the taste is pretty good. But it does have hydrogenated oils and that's something I'd rather not eat and I prefer a more simplistic, uh, more natural ingredient type peanut butter. So there's the problem. Where can you get good peanut butter in Japan? Of course you can go to your local import store or some sort of specialty international store and they might have peanut butter nearby where you live. It's not always guaranteed and more than likely you're going to be paying a premium price. I do know in some Costco's I have seen almond butter in really big containers at a reasonable price, but um, not everyone lives by a Costco, so that solution doesn't work for everyone. And that's why today I'm going to be recommending a website that I've used in my entire three years here. I've been doing constant peanut butter orders. As you can see, I'll pop a picture of my collection here. I've just got a ton and ton of peanut butter. I like to stock up and do bulk orders because this site gives you discounts for buying more items. So today, I actually got a new shipment in the mail. The company is called iHerb and I've got a brand new box unopened, which I'm gonna open here with you guys. Got some scissors, so let's tear into this box. And here we go. Lots of packaging in here, keep the products nice and safe. And today's order, I didn't just order peanut butter, I ordered a couple other things, some granola bars, some other things that are a little harder to get in Japan. I also bought a bunch of granola. So granola is becoming more and more popular in Japan, but they have very limited variety and most of it is very highly processed, extra sugar, kind of like fake kids uh, sugary cereal granola. Whereas this of course is sweet but it's a little bit less sweet and a bit more raw oats and stuff so recommend this product as well. I'll add links in the description of the video in case you're interested. Apple flavor. And got four of those as well as four things of peanut butters. Happy peanut butter days. So I mentioned before 
If you buy peanut butter from one of those special import stores in Japan or from one of those premium grocery stores, you're going to be paying at least a thousand yen for most、uh, a decent sized container, a normal sized container like this. The skippy isn't so pricey. It's maybe about 600, 700 yen for about this size. So about six, six dollars, which is a bit pricey for American standards. These, however, so the brand I buy is from the peanut butter company. Here's the normal flavor, the smooth operator. And as for ingredients, we start with normal peanuts, cane sugar, palm oil, and a little bit of salt. So, not entirely the most pure of ingredients, but it's only three grams of sugar per serving compared to two grams of fiber. So, about the same amount of fiber and sugar, which isn't bad at all. 15 grams of protein and 180 calories per serving size. They have a bunch of other flavors. Other ones I recommend are dark chocolate dreams. And actually, I've eaten all of my other flavors, but they've also got a white chocolate flavor, which I really like, and they've also got a mighty maple flavor, which is really good. But recently, I've tried telling myself I need to just stick to the original flavor, so sticking with the smooth operator. And price for this is about 550 yen. For the special flavors like the chocolate, it adds an extra 100 yen. So actually, the price per container on here is cheaper than buying it at the grocery store in Japan. And you might be worried that you have to pay for shipping on top of this. But the great thing about this company is they have free international shipping if you meet a minimum order amount. And the minimum order in Japan is usually about 4,000 yen, which is only about $40. So if you stock up on about like eight of these, or eight or ten of these, but you can mix it up, you can get some granola while you do an order. They've also got some nice water bottles, they also sell some really good protein. I get my, I got my giant protein container here as well. And I'm not super into building muscle, getting crazy, and stuff like that. But protein is really important for recovery after a workout, after a hard ride. Just get that protein in the body to get that quick and efficient recovery. Anyway, go check it out. Strongly recommended. iHerb.com. I think iHerb.jp for the Japanese version. They have full language support in English. And it's actually really good because you can change the language midway through. Anytime you can change the language and you can change the currency as well. So you can, you can pay in yen, you can pay in dollars, and you can change the language to whatever you want, whatever you're comfortable with. So if you prefer to use your American credit card, if you prefer to use a Japanese credit card, if you have one,、um, they're incredibly hard to get, or a Japanese debit card, which is what I use, you can use that to make your purchase. Shipping's really quick, it usually comes within a week. So all around, Top notch product. We have a referral code bonus as well, so you get an extra 5% off of your order. Definitely use our code here and you can get that discount. Anyway, gonna keep today's video short. If you have any other questions for advice about tips living in Japan or cycling in Japan, leave your question in the comments and we might make a video about that in the future. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time here on Tubo Cruise.